Hello, hello. This is Mystic Mohawk. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I come to you today with the Mama Masculine Read. So I come to you with the confessions of a Gnosis Mama Masculine. So Mama Masculine and those around her is in the energy where they like, you need to really grow up, Mama Masculine. You, you really need to grow up because you in denial about you raising your daggone children like they was children of the corn. They do a lot of things that you turn a blind eye to, Mama Masculine. So we wants to know why do her child, Divine Masculine, act the way he do? This is what I want to know. Why do he act the way he do? Why, Mama Masculine, do your son act the way he do? This is what I want to know because I'm not trying to be funny. We sit here and we keep saying, um, we keep saying, uh, the masculine, the masculine, the masculine. We need to figure out, like, what is these parental constraints? How was it, what was the family background of Divine Masculine? Because these behaviors had to come from somewhere, a mother, a father, somewhere. Why do he act this way? And since the mother wants to turn a blind eye to the things that her child do, let's just see. Um, and the first daggone card that come out, I'm not finished my, my, um, my shuffle. The first card that comes out of the deck is narcissistic mother. This is the first card that comes out of the deck. I haven't even finished shuffling yet. And that's the first card that comes out of the deck. So let's just get into it. I'm not even going to shuffle these cards no more because I'm not waiting. I'm not ready to use them, but there you go. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today because we would like to know why is Mama Masculine in a denial energy for how her children act? Okay, let's make sure it's right. Get yourself together. So, Mama Masculine started this thing off um, being in a judgment energy. And Mama Masculine is in a judgment energy because those around her is saying that Mama Masculine is in self-doubt. Mama Masculine is in denial for how her children act. Mama Masculine refused to examine her actions for the way that she raised her child. She's in a delusional energy. She's in an energy where she don't want to set responsibility for her actions. She's in an energy where she just like, oh, well, say what you say. I'm still going to be who I am. <sighs> Excuse me. Mm -mm -mm. So, Mama Masculine is in a tower energy, and when one is in a tower energy, she is in an unpredicted crisis energy. She's in an energy where her plans is ruined. They have scalped Everything that she has been in an energy and she has focused on has went left. She feels like her plans is ruined, and we fall down. But it don't look like she getting up when it comes to her children and the way that they act. What is the other energy that this mama is in? This mama is in a, a ten of wands energy in reverse. And when one is in a, 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 a ten of wands energy, they are, re, they are avoiding responsibility. They are in an energy where they are blaming others for their actions. They are also in an energy where they don't care what nobody say about her. They don't care. And she is in an energy where everybody is talking about her and saying these, any, these things about how she raised her children and how she acting. And she is now buckling under pressure. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, let's just get right into this um, mother and how she acts and how others see her uh as a mama and how her children act, how others see her as a mama 
And what do others have to say about this mama masculine and how she treats her kids and how she treats others and her grandkids and things of that nature? How do she respond when people say things to her about how she raised her kids? This is what we want to know, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, because this mother seems to be one that don't want to take responsibilities for how she raised her children and how, how messed up they are and how they are currently messing up other people's lives because of how their family dynamic was or currently is. And I am using my thoughts today because I want to be extremely nosy. So I am using, excuse me, Coco. I am using my, oh, that was it. I am using my confessions of a dick dealer pose. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, what is the first card that comes out? So, the divine, um, divine, divine masculine mother is in the energy where she knows that her son be around females that do sneaky things to her son. So the first card that comes out is sneaky bitch. And she identified these sneaky bitch tactics because she was once a sneaky bitch in her day. What is the other energies that come out for divine masculine of mother? She knows that her, her son has women chasing her, yet she don't feel like it's nothing wrong with it. She feels like she cheers on her son's behaviors and tell him to go on because she feels like her child is in a player-like energy and she tells her son to get all the punani that he can. So the dick dealing thing, the mother approves of her, this masculine that I'm talking about, having a lot of females. Whatever, what else do this mama do that she uh approves of that this son do? Mm. She says she knows that divine masculine has spells put on him because of the things that she do. However, 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 again, she can identify these behaviors because she may have done them in her past. Yes. And what else is going on? Yes. Divine masculine. She knows that divine masculine was physically abused as a child. She physically abused the masculine as a child what else did she do to divine masculine as a child oh divine masculine as a child not only did he have a narcissistic mother he has a narcissistic father also so if you thought that these behaviors that the masculine display is something that he displayed, no. This is a learned behavior. This is a generational behavior that the mama and the father do. Yes. And the next card that comes out, divine masculine also seen violence as a child. These I seen violence as a child. These two are arguing right there and the child is listening to the whole conversation and things that go on. So if you wanted to know how divine masculine childhood was, now you know. And the next call is divine masculine felt like he was unwanted as a child. So this may be a reason why the masculine always have women around because he felt like he was unwanted as a child. So this is probably why he brings the whoredom into his adulthood and always having women around because he didn't have his parents around as a child. Yes. And the next card that comes out is molested. So if you wanted to know about this distorted mama masculine and why divine masculine acts the way he do, this one was in an energy where he was molested as a child. And this is why this one has no problem with paying for sex. The next card that come out, I pay for sex. So we have a divine masculine that's around here tricking them things and have no problem for paying for the pussy. Okay, yes, and the next card that come up is I have been taken advantage of sexually. So divine masculine, yes, this one was taken advantage of as a child. And we want to know why, where was mama at 
what that divine masculine was able to be uh, abused as a child. What was she out here doing? Hmm. She was out here living her death best life with her goddamn going healthy habits. This how this um molestation was able to happen to divine masculine as a child. Cause mama was out there chasing her unhealthy habits and was not protecting her child. Hmm. And she has an old played out way of thinking. You know, that thinking, that old thinking of what's in my house stays in my house. No, so honey, if something happened to your house, you need to take it out your house, darling, and go take it to a therapy. Because what's in your house stays in your house, stays in your emotions. But I'm going to shut up on that. Because uh, the reason why you have those tendencies and you say the things that you say out your mouth, mama masculine, because you was an absent perm. You was too busy out there chasing something or someone that you was not giving the attention that was needed as a mother. You was giving it to something else or someone else. The next card that come out is absent mother. Where was you at divine masculine's mother? Where was you at mama masculine that you was not raising your child? Hmm. See, you got bank cranked upside your head and things that went on. So the next card that comes out, this is why Divine Masculine feels like it's okay to fuss and fight and physically abuse people and be involved in domestic violence situations. Because again, Divine Masculine seen these behaviors as a child. The next card that comes out is Eat the Cake Anime. He has Ike up in him. So Divine Masculine has an inherited behavior of bank cranking people upside his head because he's seen his daddy do it. Mm -hmm. And the next card that comes out is Father Abuse. So Divine Masculine has an inherited behavior of the banking and the cranking upside of the head. Okay, so now we know why these parents act the way he did. Let's see what else. Why did I go through this growing up? I have no idea, man. It's man. Sweetie, you have to ask your child, your mama, why she took you through what she took you through. What was out there in the streets that was more important than you? I don't know, darling, dear. You have to ask that to your mama. Next call comes out is why. Did I go through this growing up? This is what Divine Masculine wants to know. I did not feel protected as a child. So he wants you to know, Mama Masculine, whatever you was doing out there in that streets, he was not protected. And he also said you was very abusive to him as a child. So when you didn't get what you want, you was one of them mamas that took your frustrations out on your child. Again, narcissistic behaviors. This is why the masculine acts the way he do. And the next card, the next game that comes out, because you got a played out way of thinking, mama masculine. You feel like these behaviors is okay for your child to act this way. Next card that comes out is played out way of thinking. So this is Mama Masculine's energy for how she thinks. What is her other energies? Oh, she don't care if her son fake flex to get females. Because this is what he do. She don't care if her son is a damn player. Because this is what he is. She don't care about her dad or uh future prospective baby mamas of her grandbabies playing games with her child. She can identify because she did it too. The next card that comes out, stop taking birth control pills on purpose. So Mama Masculine might have been an old comic that had a keep a nigga baby. This is why she can identify these behaviors because she did it. And the next card that comes out, she's a goddamn loser. This is um like her child. Okay, 
So the DNA is lost with the losers. Okay? And she said, I know, honey. I am a shady bitch. Says Mama Masculine. I am a oh ho shady bitch. The next card that comes out, yes, I have in my past, says Mama Masculine. Oh, she might still be involved with uh, shady dealings, okay? Oh, and Mama Masculine knows that her son has claws of sneaky like tendencies. Mama Masculine knows that her son, uh, on the down low, packs the fudge. Yes. She knows that her son is a fudge packer. She knows that her son has been uh, molested. The next card that comes out, she knows her son has, has secrets. And one of those secrets that she knows is that her child is claws is sneaky. Okay? So if you was wondering why, if your, your masculine, this may be one that being energy that goes over there on the other side, he stands in the middle of the streets, yes, and he goes over there and he does those things and get, uh, you know, gay for pay and those things, mm-hmm, she's okay with that. She's okay with her son being gay for pay as long as he get that money. Hey, don't ask her for nothing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What else do my... Oh. Divine Masculine said he has anxiety issues, Mama Masculine, for what you didn't do as a child. This is why he sleeps with men and he's closet sneaky. Let, let's bring that back out now. Divine Masculine said Mama Masculine. This is why he's closet sneaky. And he deals with men. And he's gay for pay. Because he has anxiety issues of what you did, to, what you didn't do, and protect him as a child. And the music has stopped. Oh Lord, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, here we go again. Yes, I have anxiety issues. Divine Master, can you tell us his mama, uh, if you could tell your mother um, why you have anxiety issues? Where do, these, where do this anxiety come from? He heard with you. So Divine, divine Mama Masculine, if you wanted to know how your son really feel about you, darling dear, I am hurt with my mom. Your child is hurt with what you didn't do to protect him as a child. And he is now hurting as an adult for what you didn't do, Mama Masculine. I am hurt with my mom. need counseling mama masculine see that whole thing about what's in my house stays in my house that don't work because you're concealing how you feel and you're supposed to let those emotions out and see this because your child is concealing those emotions this is why he take those emotions out on other people and he does those things for how he was treated or wasn't treated by you as a child he need counseling. And you do too. That's why that whole older, you know, person way of thinking what's in my house stays in my house. No, I don't really like that thing. And I'm the reason why I'm dressed up, I just came from, you know what I'm saying, my family reunion meeting because I'm one of the chair people that's on that somebody volunteered my service for, but I ain't going to get into that. Um, yeah, that old way of thinking of what's in my house, stay in my house. No, if you knew that Uncle Fred was a molester and instead and he doing this to people's children, instead of y'all saying, telling the people on Uncle Fred, you tell the kids stay away from Uncle Fred. And Uncle Fred did it to boys and girls in our family. And I don't care if nobody, and I know that y'all watch me over here, but a lie is a lie and the truth is the truth. 
and we all know is the truth because it was brought up today in the family meeting so we ain't even gonna get into that and i'm not even gonna get into that but like i said i don't really get down with that what's in my house stay in the house now that was old school that's how our parents do it i mean no nah, my mother ain't like that because she be like what's wrong if something wrong with you you tell me and we go get assistance no nah, that wasn't my mother but i'm saying like my grandmother and their their generation before them they did they would know something was wrong with somebody in the family but they didn't want nobody to talk about them this person need help but anyway let's get back into the read yes and this is why divine masculine is in the energy and all jokes aside i'm not being funny today because this is serious you know what i'm saying this is why divine masculine picks you know what i'm saying easy women and quote unquote women that he can get over on and he don't want no commitment with people because people went in and out of his life he only had people in his life for reasons and to do things for him and basically because he never had a mature family togetherness all he's saying was people coming in and out his life you know what i'm saying to be in a relationship with one person you did this to him mama masculine you know what i'm saying because you kept going in and out of his life that's all he know so my whole thing is we sitting over here blaming the masculine for his behaviors this behavior had to come from somewhere it didn't just come out the sky this is why divine masculine choose to be with low vibrational women and women that you know it's easy for him to just pay him and send him on his business you know what i'm saying he likes these pole dancers he likes strippers he likes that low vibrational energy because it puts him in a narcissistic mode that he feels like he can control and the reason why i'm saying that he can control these women with his money he can control these these women with his fake flexing. Yeah, that was out there too. With his fake flexing. He can control these kind of women, you know what I'm saying? With his fake um with his fake flexing. He can control these kind of women with his playalistic ways. Because all they want from him is a dollar. See, this is the thing where the the breakdown came down with divine feminine and divine masculine. Divine masculine still wanted to be in that player-like energy with the woman where he in and out. Divine feminine was mature and was ready to settle down and be in a relationship. And that's where the disconnect comes from. But it all starts from how this child was treated by his mom, his parents. Tell us another characteristic of how he was treated. He was treated because, and another thing, Divine Masculine's dad, we're not going to leave you out this situation either because Divine Masculine saying he was hurt by his father too. What else is Divine Masculine saying? I fear of being alone. This is why he have all these women around, like I said. This is why he have all these women around because... His parents neglected him and they wasn't around as a child. Again, I fear of being alone. So Divine Feminine, if you feel like this person left you because of all these things, this thing, this child was traumatized from being alone. And this is why he have all these women around. You have to figure out why a person act the way they do. You know what I'm saying? This, this person act the way he do is because his childhood was messed up. Yes. Another call comes out. Sometimes I'm gay for pay. So divine masculine doesn't feel like because he's in a money situation and he's having sex with the same sex for money. He don't feel like he gay. But divine masculine, you are. You are bisexual. If you like the same sex and you have sex with the same sex, you are bisexual. I don't have an issue with that. I have an issue with you being closet sneaky. You know what I'm saying? If you're going to be gay, you know what I'm saying? Let your partner know. This is where this STDs and all these things come out. 
Next call come, I am gay for pay. And again, Divine Masculine's mother don't feel like these things is wrong because Divine Masculine, oh, my child getting paid. He ain't doing this for free. He ain't getting fucked in this ass for free. That's ignorant, Divine Feminine. Yes. And as a child, Divine, Divine Masculine's mother gave him violent punishments. How can you give a child a violent punishment and your ass wasn't ever around? Where was you? How could you get a child violent punishments and you was never around? You was a goddamn druggie parent. That's why your ass wasn't around. You was giving more attention to the damn drugs than you was your damn child. Next call come out, I'm sorry, don't mean it. Yeah, I do mean it, yeah. Druggie parent. That's why this child is all messed up and you probably gave him daggone violent uh, punishments. Your ass was probably fucked up because you was off your damn drugs all the time and wasn't never around. Ooh. This is why Divine Masculine likes easy women again. The next card that comes out is mattress backs. This is what he accustomed to because he can take advantage of mattress backs. This is why he picks the Jezebel, loose-spirited kind of woman. Because he wants them in, he wants them out, he do not want no relationship. This next call come is, come out, come is, Lord Jesus, that is what they doing, Jesus. Okay, so the next call that comes out is freak in the sheets and pull on the floor, mattress back. This is the time the woman that the women one man that divine masculine prefers. He prefer. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, cause um, I'm sorry. I am one that don't like little creepy crawly things. And as soon as I see one, I try to get it right here when I get. It. Excuse me, heavenly fathers. I know those are creatures too, but I got. Uh, my finger is big that's why i don't got these two fingers um done because these two fingers is swollen because something bit me on my hand and i don't know if it bit me on my hand it had to bit me on i don't know where it bit me on my hand at but these two fingers all of these three fingers these two the most is the swollen it's my hand is so swollen it hurt to try to take this ring off i cannot take it off but these I don't know where, I think it bit me right here. But I can see where it bit me right here. And it bit right me right there. So I had to been sleep. That's why I had to take them, them nails off. Because it hurt that bad. My my hand is just doing like this. It's just constantly doing like that. And it hurt. So I don't know what bit me. But whatever is in here that I see crawling. Sorry. um, Little creepy crawly thing. You're going to die. Okay. So the next card that come in out was and it came in reverse i have struggled with depression so mama masculine and daddy daddy masculine those things that you 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 was out there doing in in the street as a child it hurts your when your child your child was in his childhood hurt him and this is why he is hurting others in his adulthood divine masculine is letting his mother and his father know what y'all did to me as a child i struggled with depression with name Yes. And what else is you saying? Divine masculine. And the next card that come out is divine masculine. It's divine masculine. So divine masculine is speaking his truths. And these next two cards is what? Yes. Divine masculine. This is why divine masculine is in an energy where he um. This is in the divine masculine is in the energy. This next card is I dick cougars down for money. Again, in and out energy. I dick, this is why I dick, dick, dick women down for money. This is why I dick cougars out for money. This next call come is I dick cougars down for money. So Divine Masculine is always in the energy. And Divine Masculine say this is why I be with females because I'm bae in their face. But when I go out the door, I'm everybody's bae. This next call come up, yep, yeah, I'm bae in your face. And I'm everyone's bae behind your back. 
This is why Divine Masculine is always in that energy because what y'all did, and this is why Divine Masculine bankrupts people up his upside his head. And this next call is Do We Have to? Oh baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. This one. This is one why he has multiple partners and he don't have sex with condoms on. Yes. This is why he hurt people. And he liked to have sex with people without condoms on. Yes. Let let that record reflect. What else do you do, Divine Masculine, as an adult? Why you act the way you do? Why this? Why your behaviors as a child? Yes. Well, I was about to say, why your behaviors as a child make you act thirsty as an adult? And the next card that come out is always looking, never satisfied. I was getting ready to say, why do you act the way that you do as an adult? You would never damn satisfied. Yes, look at him. He's with a woman. And he's still looking at somebody else. He is always in the never satisfied energy because you wasn't around Mama Masculine. So he feel like he always got to have somebody around to fill that void and his mama not being around as a child. This is why your child is a whore. <sighs> There are painful things I've been through that some family members don't know. I bet you they don't. And I bet you your mama don't want them to know either, but that's why she fake. That's why she fraud. That's why she let you get away with whatever you want to do as an adult because she feel guilty for not being there for you when you was a damn child. There's painful things I've been through that some of my family members just don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. My parents also, Divine Masculine, is telling on the parents. My parents were always fighting. And this is where he gets this bank crank you Ike upside your head oops upside your head yeah he gets that because he's seen that a lot as a child yes and this is why he's two-faced it this is why he's fraud yes mm -hmm. this one here is fake this one this is why he act two-faced it because his purse is two-faced it and fake and dysfunctional Mm-hmm. Why else you act like that? This is why he cares about nothing but money. This is the focus. Nothing but money. However, he do have a lot of regrets. He do have a lot of regrets. And he blamed those regrets on his childhood. And I'm about to get out of here because I'm not trying to be funny. This is very depressing, Mama Masculine. This is why your child has sex addictions because he was molested as a child. He was taken advantage of. So this one here is a fudge packing. He do not care. He a fudge packing closet sneaky, sex addicted, distorted masculine. The next card that comes out is sex addiction. This is why he choose to deal with drunk bitches. Because he can take advantage of them. The next card that come out is drunk bitch. This is the ones that he preferred. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the ones he preferred. So if you wanted to know why your, your masculine had a nasty, foul mouth, foul mouth Fred that always had something nasty to say out his mouth, that he known because he was verbally abused and verbally attacked. So those is one of those inherited behaviors that he is known for, verbally attacking people. What else is he known for? Okay, well, those verbal attacks that he get, him and his mama is receiving karma. She receiving karma because she ain't teach her child no better. And that one is receiving karma because he treated people like crap. Mm-hmm. 
And the next call that come out is toxic damn family. The whole family fucked up. Even old Grandma Annabelle. Great Grandma Ernestine fucked up like shit. Toxic. And the next call that comes out is neglected. So they did not do anything to protect this child. They left him to raise himself. What else did they do? Again, the father was absent. Probably was um, slanging, dangling in someone, someone's other residence beside Mama Masculine. Yes. And this is why your child always have STDs, because it's a learned behavior, because this father was out here being absent, slinging dangling somewhere else. This is why his child slings the ring a ding dong Ding dong ding ring a ding dong Ding dong ding ring a ding dong Ding dong ding His father slang that ding a ling yes. He learned this behavior from him, Dottie. You know the behaviors where you're sitting up there and you uh you uh you got a family here, you're taking money over there, those your kids over there. Mm-hmm. He learned this behavior from him, Dotty. And that narcissist behavior, if you was wondering why your masculine acts the way he do, that mama is a narcissist also. Yes. The mama is a narcissist. The daddy is a narcissist. This one, why this one cheats. He gets caught all the time. The divine masculine, yes. Caught cheating online. He get caught cheating online. He don't respect himself. All he respect is the gram. Mm-hmm. Facade will do anything for the gram. Mm-hmm. What else is this masculine that we that he does in his adulthood? Yes, like I said, this MF for all he want is one night stands. He don't want no relationship. He don't want no relationship. Again, he's seen his daddy do it. So it's okay for him to do it too. The things I've witnessed as a child. So Divine Masculine was probably one of those children that raised himself and saying a lot of things that a lot of adult things that he was not supposed to see as a child that probably grew him up fast being put in children in adult situations messed them up too the next card that comes out i've witnessed a lot of things as a child mm -hmm. so what would you witness as a child that makes you act like a whore today oh yeah this one here, he probably does things to take his old closet sneaky ass to jail. To be around a whole lot of men and fudge pack within the jail cell. Yes. The next call is, I get locked up a lot. You get locked up a lot. So you be out there doing things masculine to get your ass locked up so you can be around a whole man, a whole lot of men. Mm, mm, mm. Same situation. And the next call that comes out is medications to treat treat gondoria and syphilis. I see why you always getting some type of STD because you are closet sneaky. You like doing any in any hole that will let you enter. That's what you like to do. And see, I don't have a problem with these things, but you have to let your partner know that you do these things. The next call come out again. Sex isn't wrong, but you got to be right. And if you're going to have sex, you need to wrap it up tight. I don't even want to finish the rest of the song because y'all know what it is. Child, I'm about to get out of here because this one... Is this this whole reading is depressing. I don't even know what made me even want to do this mama masculine, but I was just like, I was getting the channel and love. This child, divine masculine, acts this way for a reason. People just don't come out the gate and act the way they do. But anyway, the next call to come out, this is why this divine masculine, this is why he drinks. I've been drinking, he been drinking. This is why this one does a lot of drinking. 
he has a lot on his mind about his childhood. The next card that come out, DWI, DUI indicated. This one, why this one always get locked up? Because he do a lot of drinking. So either he do a lot of drinking to get away from the people in his life and go to jail. You know, like those that want to go on vacations and go to jail to get away from the responsibilities of life. That might be this mask man. Or he just might like the pain. He like what I lied. As my cousin would say. Who we ain't gonna get into that. Cause that family meeting was uh was serious. And I'm like, I'm standing in the middle of this damn family beef that goes on. And my thing is, I say what I say and I leave. And my family be like, hey, Shannon is known for that. She'll say what she said and get up and leave. Yes, I'm not arguing with you niggas. I'm not arguing with you niggas. And my whole thing is if you put me on, and I don't mean the subject jump, but this is on my mind. Y'all asked me to put put me on the uh the thing as the sergeant in arms. Yes. Cause I don't got time to be playing with y'all. So I'm on it as a sergeant in arms. And I'm like, excuse me. Excuse me. And this is all the cousins that's getting this together because everybody else wants to act, wants to volunteer services. So anyway, excuse me. So they're not listening to like what's going on because not only did you ask me to be Sergeant Arms, but you asked me to be treasurer. So I got a whole rundown of the donation money that y'all need to be giving up. And no one, and you saying what you need. So I'm telling you what the money is and what we need to be coming up with, you know, for the banquet and all the rest of these things. Y'all wanna be arguing about somebody's house getting something to somebody else excuse me we did not come here for that people we came here to get our family reunion together that is something that y'all need to discuss on your own y'all are not going to interrupt this situation with that craziness they kept that on i said um got to go miss miles is about to leave the building and they thought i was playing i got in my little honda and i burnt out I'm not trying to play with people. I have children on my own. I'm not sitting over here being no damn referee to grown, to grown people. That's what I'm not going to do. Yes. Anyway, we have the court cheating card. So this is why Divine Masculine is always in a court cheating energy. Because he always wants someone around. And I'm going to say, mm, 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 mm. no, I can't finish because this call is up there. And the next card that comes out. So if you wanted to know why you wanted to know why this grown man is still in is still in energy with his mother to him like child, she just always in a smothering behavior. And that's part of her narcissist behavior. But anyway, I got to go because I just heard this uh, I got to go. I just seen the thing come up on my phone because everybody want yeah. I'm getting texts on my phone because everybody like, my whole thing is this. I'm in a meeting with y'all. Why is y'all calling my father talking about Trey Sean? My cousin going to disrespect, going to say, ah, you're going to be like the rest of them. You're going to be disrespectful and don't answer my text. Um, excuse me. Yes, I am going to be disrespectful like the rest of them because we did not come here to talk about that. So therefore, I'm not even going to answer your text if you're still talking about that situation. This is why I left. And like I said, I don't know anything about that situation that's between you and another family member. That should be discussed between you and them. All of us don't need to know the situation about somebody else's house and what is going on with that. We did not have a family meeting about that. We had a family meeting about family reunion we're not talking about people houses we're not talking about inheritance we're not talking about money so i'm disrespectful because 
I got up, excuse me, and I let that one be known. Yes, I might have been the little cousin, but y'all know, the little cousin always spoke her mind. And y'all know the little cousin can fight. So, I will let y'all be saying, I'm going to need y'all to have a seat. Because y'all know, they be like, that one right there, she got the right mother. Peppa, you are really, really shitting, girl. Dang, Peppa. Peppa. I'm picking up your hair. I'm glad you go for Girl, you shit. My bad. Oh, sorry. Um, my bad. If you like my vibe, like, share, subscribe. I'm sorry. I am a germaphobe. And this one over here is shitting. But the man coming to cut her tomorrow. Um, yeah, the mobile man coming to cut her tomorrow. But that hair, I got to get that up. I'm about to get my swift out. I'm sorry. I'm a, joke, a germaphobe. And I think I got that from my mother. But if you like my vibe like share and subscribe and i know y'all gonna be saying something about that um that uncle fred thing but um y'all people y'all know what the truth is about that the family members that watch me but anyway i hope y'all have a good one and right now the energy that i'm in right now that text that i just got from my cousin i'm not i just want to like finish so i apologize to y'all for not giving y'all the daily thing but because i have to uh tell somebody about themselves uh but if you like my vibe like share subscribe thank you oh yes this one